Hello there, Capricorn. Welcome to your August 2022 You versus Them reading. So, this side be you. This side be the person that you think about, the person that's on your mind, the person you want to know about. Okay, let's get right into it. So, what are your thoughts about your person? Let's see. I think at this time you see them as independent, doing their own thing, maybe in um, authority somewhere, but there's some kind of sneaky energy around them. Mm -hmm -hmm. Either you feel that, that they're sneaky or there's some kind of energy around them. There might be people around them. I almost feel like it is people around them. Aries energy here with the Emperor. Um, we do have a little juggling going on or a little someone trying to make a decision. I feel like they're juggling things. I don't know they're juggling people or juggling projects, or just trying to get their life into balance at this time. Okay, let's see, why do we have the Nine of Pentacles here for your person? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Ooh, memories. There's a really deep connection here. I think you might feel like they're like a soulmate. You feel, um, there's like a loyalty to this connection, I feel, but there's like, they're not talking in this connection, it feels like. But you still have a loyalty to this person. Okay, um, why is the Emperor here? Why do we have the Emperor here? Okay, you're thinking about something coming back around. There might be a cycle that you're thinking this person is closing or they are finishing up something. It feels like they aren't on the verge of why is it why do I have tidy up? It's like they're finishing up, they're tidying up, and I'm getting for some here that this person goes in and they and they're the type of person that um goes into like businesses and they sort of like clean things up. They just go in and, and straighten things out that aren't not working right. That's why they have this authority, that's why they have all this power. It's like they know how to fix the wrongs. That makes sense for anyone that's uh, that is weird that i'm getting that but that's what i'm getting and that's why there might be this conflict here because the people that are there that have been there forever don't like to change they don't and this is weird because i'm trying to do like a love reading here it seems like more like a corporate um <laughs> thing going on here let's see um okay why do we have the five okay moon there's things hidden there's things that are being revealed that have been hidden you're going to find out things or something i don't know why this is leading to this with, with your reading but i have to tell you what my guys tell me it makes sense for someone it's important for someone to know pisces energy things are hidden a lot of emotions people are uh, might be trying to sabotage this person from expressing their emotions to you because they you might be thinking you're feeling their energy come back on i'm feeling like you're feeling their energy you're feeling their pull it's it's really weird you might have not thought about them for a while for some of you and all of a sudden you're feeling a pull from them it's like where did this come from why am i thinking about so and so what's what's going on okay and then we have competition or struggle or fight or this person i almost feel like you feel like they're battling something on their own in and maybe no one else knows about it but your energy is connecting to their energy and you know about it and if you if you can when you get to talk to them and you tell them that you're gonna totally blow their mind because no one knows what they're going through right now with this struggle okay now let's see let's see what their thoughts are about you that was very weird i'm sorry but i gotta tell you what i get and i know that's not gonna resonate for a lot of people but you know, I'm, I'm just doing my job here. <laughs> okay, let's see here. We have, okay, we got a sneaky energy here. Hmm. Seven of Swords. This is lying, cheating, stealing, um, deceiving somehow. Corrupt. Ah, wow. Money. There's something going on with maybe a long-term commitment, money. A family business for somebody wow and the nine cups and we have the same card that you started out with here on the bottom this trying to be independent and um, doing your own things I almost feel like this person is trying to break away from a family connection to be with you maybe that's what's going on here maybe they're exposing someone here in the family I don't know this is this is getting a little crazy here <laughs> 
Okay, why do we have the Seven of Swords here? This person feels like they've taken away their the family's ability to screw things up. If that makes any sense. Wow. Okay. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. They're over here trying to straighten things out. Trying to it almost feels like I'm getting this energy. This is so crazy that this person has to start over on their own. It's like they're I feel like they're taking one pentacle here out of the family business or something like that and they're branching out on their own because they don't want to be involved with this and this is going to make them happy and i'm we're supposed to be your thoughts about you but i think feel like they have to take care of this before they could come towards you you make them happy they want a commitment with you but they have to straighten this stuff out because this is the underlying underlying energy that's preventing them to come to you because they have to straighten out this family crisis that's going on whatever this corruption or something holy moly okay um, why do we have the ten of pentacles here okay they're going to be contacting you they want a long-term commitment they're going to be contacting they're going to get to you somehow either text email phone call letter and they want to make an offer now you make them very happy here we have the nine of cups let's see Yeah, they want to put the work in. They they want to harvest something to you. They want to grow something with you. It's very important for them that they break away from their family business there or there's some kind of ties with a corporation or whatever they're doing. And they want to start anew with you. Um, and they're going to do this quickly. Cancer energy coming in real quick. Fast energy. Okay, now. Whew, I did not expect this one. Okay, now. What are your feelings towards your person? Let's see, what are your feelings towards your person? Ace of Cups. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Holy moly. And, ooh, the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you are conflicted about what to do here. Uh, you have a lot of love from them. You want this long-term commitment. You also see a long-term commitment here. You also see, you, you might be, like, able to work on the in the same environment or do the same thing or... Uh, work well together and you see this possibility of working with this person and probably being super rich here or you know being very wealthy by doing something together because you think the same you are the same it's like um but you're confused about what to do here with this two of swords you're not seeing the whole picture or you're, or you're not you're not seeing what's going on here you're feeling something though, but you feel their energy you feel them like sort of calling out and it's like I got this is really weird I got calling out in silence does that make any sense you're you're connecting with them uh, spiritually you're hearing them okay let's see why do we have the ace of cups here yeah you're thinking maybe making an offer here uh, Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy love offer we got the ace of cups and you got the the guy here with the flowers yeah what about the ace of pentacles work yeah you there's opportunities here that if you guys get together to put together a business or put a business plan or something that you can really make this thing take off big 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 okay what about this two of swords why is the two of swords here But conflicted, not knowing how to do this, not knowing. I, I just feel like you're feeling their energy. You're feeling what's going on. You're you're getting these hits. You are getting these very strong intuitive hits, but you don't really have any concrete evidence to prove it. Or they're not talking to you, not open up to you. But so you feel lost here because you feel like the, you're having all these thoughts coming in your head. You're getting all these downloads. You're getting this information about this person. And it's it's all dark. It's gloomy. And you feel like they're stuck. They're, they're trapped. And you want to help them, but you can't. You're not in position to help them. See, this, look at this. That's it. Exactly the high priestess. Virgo, Cancer energy. You are so in tune to this person. You're so tapped into their energy. Amazing. Now, I know this is not going to be for a lot of people. I'm sorry, but that's the energy that's coming in. It's coming in very strong. It's very important for whoever has to hear it. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see. We have, ooh, Ace of Pentacles for them. Oh, Ace of Wands. I can't believe this. Wow. Okay, you guys are thinking the same. Look at this. They want also want to come to you. <laughs> you guys are marrying each other. You you feel your your connection is so tight. It's just so tight. So here we have starting a new business or something with you. Passion. 
They're thinking about how passionate this will be. They're thinking about this ending for a new beginning, this transformation, that it would be amazing. And they want to come to you with a cup of love here. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. Wow. Okay, let's see. Why do we have the Ace of Pentacles here? Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so they feel like you are the Queen of Pentacles. You are very nurturing, loving, caring. You know how to make money grow. You know how to... You think like they do. They feel you're very stable. You're reliable. If anybody they would trust, it would be you. With any kind of money, any kind of situation. What about this um, Ace of Wands? Woo! The King of Wands. Okay. They are very passionate about you. They have this strong desire. They are very attracted to you. They're very passionate about you. And they they know that your passion for what you do is very exciting and very on point. They know that together you guys could just like set the world on fire. What a reading. Wow. What about the death card? Why is the death card here? Okay. This is they want to hold on to this. They don't want to lose this connection. No matter what, they you guys are always going to be connected. They feel that even if you don't talk, you're connected. They feel that. This is a very strong connection holding on to. It. They want to work with you. They want to show you something too here. There's something that they're planning there. There's um something that they have like a financial plan that they're they're writing down or they they have something they're putting in place. There's something they're de or there's something des designing something. They want to show you this. No one else has seen it. But they want you to see it. Okay. Now, what action might you take towards them? What is the action you might take towards them? Strength card. Okay. Leo energy. The star card. Ooh. And the queen of swords. Oh, uh, here comes. The, there we have the, um, a lot of memories, a lot of connection, a lot of, there's, there's, um, Okay, why am I seeing, I'm seeing that a past life of someone being together in the village. This is, I've never seen this before, even though this looks like a village card here, but it feels like there is something about a past life. I think it might be Italy, a village in Italy, and I'm also getting the south of France. Okay, oh, and they're telling me Germany too. How many you got here? Okay, well anyway, those are the... If that resonates with you, if, even if you're not from any of those countries, but you have this strong draw to these countries, probably because you had a past life with this person in those countries. And it could be that you kept on coming back, and those are the countries that you were together in this with this person. Now, this is very strong, very um, connected energy here. And um, also with this dark card, you feel like this per maybe they're famous already, or you see you can see the potential of really like reaching for the stars and everything is yours there's no the sky is the limit but you also know that you're going to have to be very stern and very focused on this um adventure on this this um financial matter that you would go at this enterprise or wherever you're going to be going to, to with this person because your love and your um your connection is going to be <laughs> Very easy to persuade you guys to be focused more on the fun, the love, the you know, the in intimacy than the uh, financial because it's is a very strong connection here. Okay, let's see. Um, why do we have the strength card here? Choices, decisions. You don't know what to do. You don't want to make a wrong move. You're trying to um, you're trying to really think this through. What about the star card? You're very confused. Oh yeah, there's some kind of sneaky behavior. So you're not you're not gonna make a, a move because you don't wanna you don't wanna jeopardize this con this connection or this 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 whatever you're trying to build together here. This um financial connection too. This um business because there's people that would like to know what you're up to and like to steal your ideas. Okay, now why do we have the Queen of Swords? Okay, make uh, you're gonna wait. You're gonna wait for them to come to you. Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing, Destiny. You see, this is gonna happen when it's supposed to happen, and you're not gonna push it because you don't wanna. You don't wanna. Uh, they're the ones who have to deal with closing down, closing something here, to, um, ending a cycle, 
putting things in place before they can come to you. So you're going to need to wait and be patient because they're working on that. Okay, let's see what action they're going to take towards you. Ooh, they're trying to blend things. They're trying to balance things. They're trying to make things come into play. They're, yeah, they're, they're making sure they do everything correctly. They listen to their intuition. Queen of Cups, they love you. And they they uh, they know you're very nurturing and caring. You both feel the same. I I feel, I feel like you're sharing this energy here about love for each other to nurture this. And there's also chaos around them. They can't make a move with this chaos. They have to sort of keep mum's word here with this connection. They are very attracted to you, Queen of Wands. You got the King and the Queen of Wands here, so you're both very attracted to each other. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What about this Sagittarius with the Temperance card? Why is that here? Let's see why that is here. Oh, yes. Ten of Pentacles. You guys are bringing this together. You, you kept on getting the Ten of Pentacles. So there's a lot of money that is going to be made between the two of you guys together. Um, what about this Queen of Cups? The Strength Leo energy. Could be dealing with a Leo. Very strong here. Um, having the strength to do things correctly. To... Um, this person's putting their plans into place and they're doing a good job and they're going to come once they get everything settled where they can come to you and get away from this chaos this drama they're going to come in quick star yeah I, you guys might become famous when you put all your resources together and your your ideas and your your creativity i think you're going to become famous together and they're coming in quick with a lot of passion um, aries leo sagittarius okay let's see what signs we have here what are the signs here for Capricorn? What are the signs? We have Taurus, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Virgo, and Virgo again. Okay, Capricorn. So the signs we have for you today, the three placements in your chart, placement their chart, other people, past, present, future. We have Taurus, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Virgo, and Virgo. Now for your letters. We're going to do 11 letters. And that will be for initials. First name, last name. Get both first and last. And you know someone's middle name. You get that all the better. Past, present, future. And also your own initials. We have K, G, D, P, D, V, E, P, T, E, and S. Okay, so the letters we have for you today are K, G, D, P, D, V, E, P, T, E, S. Okay, now for the names. Let's see, what names do we have? What are the names? Okay. We have here Ricardo, Rosa, Kimberly, Takumi, T-A-K-U-M-I, Anahira, A-N-A-H-E-R-A, -A Richard, Harish, H-A-R-I-S-H, -H, Alicia, Nathaniel, Jamie, J-A-I-M-Y, Pamela, Renee, R-E-N-E-E, -E -E, Nancy, and... Allen. Okay. Okay, 14. There you go. So those are the names. Now remember guys, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please let me know if something resonates. Don't take any, don't make something fit if it doesn't fit. Because then you're not going to be happy if it's not your reading. Um, you'll know if it's your reading. You'll, you'll feel it. You'll, you'll be very excited when I'm saying like, yes, 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 this is, this is it. This is it. You feel it. Um, so uh, just keep that in mind. And um, please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. And um, please, guys, please give me some thumbs up and um, 
leave some comments and subscribe if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so it really helps the channel grow and i really want to be able to stay on youtube and um i really enjoy doing these readings so i really appreciate all your help and um i love you guys so much i appreciate you all your likes shares subscribes and comments and i hope to see you all again real soon thank you